my favorite subject, sugar, comes up all the time. And I think I need to clarify exactly or specify is probably a better word, exactly how I view sugar based on the, the, the research that I've done and the actual practical experience of largely not eating sugar over the last two years. I think, and we have, and I think it's important to be specific about these things. I think that you should steer clear of sugar. Do I think that sugar is poisonous in reasonable amounts? No. Poisonous to, and by poisonous, I mean bad for your health or will lead to outcomes that you don't want. I believe that that's the case. But can you eat sugar in moderation? Uh, and will it hurt you? No, it won't. Will sugar in massive amounts hurt you? Sugar by itself? No, it won't. Is it healthy? I don't think so. Is it unhealthy in reasonable amounts? I don't think so. But what it does is when, when, when added to foods that become hyperpalatable, it makes you eat way more calories than you should. Calories in, calories out. Simple mechanism. Calories in, calories out. So if you're eating hyper-processed foods loaded down with sugars, it's going to be easy to way overeat those calories. And then overeating your calories is going to result in you getting fat and obese. So the quickest, shortest route to obesity and, and bad health is sugar because sugar in massive amounts will lead to those things. And those things are what will kill you. So I think it's important to be clear. You can eat sugar if you want to. I choose not to. You can drink milk if you want to. It has sugar in it. I choose not to. But would I tell you not to drink sugar, or excuse me, not to drink milk because the sugar in it is bad for you? No. And my views on this have changed a little as time has gone by, as my education has continued, and as my experiences continue to expand. But I'm not an advocate for eating sugar at all because of where sugar leads. But sugar leads to diseases based on what it does to you metabolically in a calorie surplus. And those diseases, those maladies, those afflictions, those addictions are what will kill you uh, or make your life miserable, make you fat, make you lethargic, obesity, diabetic, all of those things. Sugar doesn't cause those. Too much sugar causes those. And typically, if we're eating too much sugar, we're eating a whole lot of other extra, extra calories that we don't need to eat. So from my perspective, I just cut it out altogether. You might have a different approach. And if you wanted to eat 5% of your calories in sugar and you're counting your calories and you're keeping them in a deficit, you're going to be successful. You're going to lose weight. Are you going to be as healthy as you could? No, I don't think so. Should it stop you from eating fruit? I don't, but that's me. But certainly as part of a balanced diet that you're going to take in terms of a calorie in, calorie out in in trying to eat a deficit to lose weight, you could by all means do that. And I don't think that it will have any impact negatively on you. And the studies seem to show all of that. Too much of those things. Too much of anything, I think. Too, uh, too much of most things, I should think, particularly when it comes to food and hyperpalatable foods, hyperprocessed foods, are going to lead to the things that are killing Americans every single day. Opportunities are everywhere. Got to go get them. Go for a walk.